Hi everyone. In this video, we will learn about two more important performance testing concept and those are called think time and pacing. And together these two will help you achieve a realistic and an accurate performance test scenario. To understand these two, let's take an example of a real world application usage. So let's say you have uh, an e-commerce web application and in that users are going to the home page, then login page, then going to the cart and then they are searching for some item in your site. So in reality, users will not be continuously hitting uh, these endpoints or these pages, right? So in reality, they will come to the home page, then they will go through some uh, content of home page, then they will locate a login link and then they will click on that link and then the login page will be displayed. And once they are on the login page, they will maybe enter the credential and click on the submit button. Uh, so there is always some delay involved between all these two transactions, right? Between home page and login transaction. So this delay, this delay between two transactions is called the think time. A delay between two transactions is called the think time. And it is used in the performance test script to simulate a real world application usage scenario. And it also helps in simulating the production like condition so that uh, we can introduce a delay between two transactions. Okay. And it also avoids overwhelming the system uh, because let's say uh, users are continuously hitting in your application. Right? There is no delay, like there is no thing, thing time between two transactions. So what will happen is uh, users will continuously hammer your application and your application will uh, start giving an incorrect performance test results. So this thing time, the delay time between two transactions helps in uh, avoiding that particular situation. It avoids the overwhelming of the application servers. And typically the, the thing time between two transactions is always a uh, number of transactions minus one. So in this example, so right now we have four transactions, the home page, login, cart and search. And we have a think time between two transactions. So there are three uh, think times in our overall performance test script. Okay, so there is always, uh, so the think time will always be uh, number of transactions minus one. Okay. And there are two types of think times. Uh, one, one is the fixed uh, think time and another one is the dynamic think time. So in the fixed uh, think time, uh, the think time will always be constant between two transactions like between home page and login there will be always let's say five seconds of delay and between login and cart there will also be a five second of delay and between cart and search there will be also a five seconds of delay. But that is not the ideal uh, scenario because in ideal world or in, or in the real world users will take a dynamic amount of time. Let's say a uh, user will take uh, two seconds to go to the login page, then they will take five seconds to enter the credentials. So the think time will always be a uh, dynamic uh, in, in case of uh, real world. So it is recommended that we use the dynamic think time in our load test script. So this is about think time. Let's understand the pacing now as well. So uh, the think time is the delay between two transactions, uh, between these two transactions. Whereas pacing is the delay between two iterations, All right? So let's say this is one iteration of your application usage. So what will happen is pacing will introduce a delay between this iteration. Like after search, there will be some delay. And then uh, user will start uh, hitting the home page. So the delay between two iterations is called the pacing. And in reality also, if you see, uh, and users will not be immediately start a different session after uh, they are done with one session. So pacing also allows us to uh, to simulate the time gap between two uh, two sessions and and uh, helps us simulating the real world application usage scenario. And uh, since we are controlling the controlling the uh, rate of request to the application, we. Uh, the pacing also helps in achieving the desired load on the application.